the reveal for the, um, the heads. Ta-da! Okay, this is the one done in brown paper. Uh, my son named her Dr. Brown, and she turned out the best, don't you think? It's kind of wacky looking, but um, people are selling this on Etsy for art, as art, for $138. Okay, then <clears throat> we have the one done with scrapbook paper. It says, I love you, I love you, I love you. Her name is Mary Agnes, named after Sister Mary Agnes from my past, who is just about the most loving individual you ever wanted to meet in your whole life. And, uh... So anyway, that was appropriate. Now the problem with Mary Agnes is the paper is thick, okay? So I think if you wrinkle your paper up, like I did with the brown paper bag, and you won't get as smooth right, you know, right there. It, it, I don't know what it'll look like once it gets wet, to tell you the truth, but that's my plan for the next one. But the, guys, the problem is, is you'll get little sharp points next one just jumped. Um, you get little sharp points and then the knitwear will catch on them. So that's not good. So I got to come up with a plan for that. Okay, then we have the Golden Girls. We have Dorothy and we have Sophia. Now, Dorothy was made from that golden embossed paper, and again, being thick, it caused a little, um, some points. Not as bad as Mary Agnes's paper, but uh, it still had some points. I got clever toward the end, and I started peeling the foil off, and I used it down here, but, um, <clears throat> you know, live and learn. I'm not really keen on the gold. Uh, I, that's just, I don't know. I'm mean, just not so keen. But this whole process takes such a long time that I thought I'd take a shortcut. And there's this um, paint that you can buy. It comes in a tube, and it's, I think it calls itself a wax-based paint. Uh, you literally can buff it and get more of a sheen to it. But you have to be really careful about what paint you put on styrofoam because it'll just eat it up. So I tried it out and it worked really well on this one. So my bright idea was since they're wearing hats, you didn't have to do really, you know, cover this. This is one that I did with the bounty paper towels. And uh, it feels like gauze, you know, like you wrap a, a wound with. But <clears throat> What I did was I put this paint, you rub it on, all over her, and so you get this kind of effect. And then I took her outside and stuck her on the spike, and I sprayed her with some goldish paint, spray paint that I had. And remember, you can't get paint like that on styrofoam. So I thought, no big deal, she's got a coating of paint on her, and this is, is paper mache. So yeah, it took just fine here, but you can see where it started to eat away at her, where I didn't have the paint as heavy. So don't spray paint. And also, this doesn't really work because it's rough. You can't slide the knitted hats on and off, so, you know, what's the purpose? So she's going to have to be recovered, and since I didn't get excited about gold, um, she just has to go back to the beauty shop. This, this She's not going to work out, so we'll take care of her. So um, that was the result, and I hadn't gotten to the other two, and I don't have time because I have to spend the rest of today getting my stuff ready, and it's going to be like 80 degrees at this sh shopping extravaganza, so... I, who, I don't know who wants to buy hats when it's 80 degrees, but it's a beautiful day, so we'll see. Um, cross your fingers, something sells. If not, 
again, nothing goes to waste. It all goes to charity, or maybe I'll try again on Etsy or something like that. Although I have to be careful about selling on Etsy and make sure that I link back to some of the patterns. They, the de pattern designers say you're free to sell your stuff, but you need to link back um, on the website. So I'll have to look all that up if I do decide to do uh, go that route. But anyway, so there you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.